What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and today we are doing a massive tech haul. So all these things here I've had either sent to me by the manufacturers or I've purchased myself, and I got a whole bunch of stuff here, and the goal of this video is basically just to go through, open them up, see what's inside. You'll get to see things that I'll be reviewing in the future. You can actually give some feedback on potential things that you might want me to review from this list. And we're just gonna have some fun opening some things and see what's in here. So let me make some room here. Alrighty, so let's start with this one here. See what's inside. Ah, this one's packaged pretty good. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. I know what this is. So the folks at Glide Charge sent this over to me. And when they first sort of talked to me about this, I was very intrigued because it's a, it is a charging battery as a sort of a power station. Actually, it's more of a power station and power bank in one. But the cool thing about this is that it has lithium ion phosphate cells. And what that is, it's is the same kind of battery used in electric cars, which makes it extremely heat and cold resistant. Another unique thing about this here is that you do have DC and USB output, USB-A and USB-C. If we look here, I gotta read it. The USB-C has 20 volt, three amps, so that's about 60 watts. And then the DC output is 12 volt, 4.2 amps, so that's about so that's about 48 watts, and then 12 volt, 1.5 amp for the USB A, which is pretty standard. It's right, right around 18 watts. So again, very very nice battery bank here. Uh, in the box, you know they provide all the standard stuff that you would expect. Uh, they provide a USB C to USB C cable and a DC to DC adapter here. One of the other things I wanted to highlight about this is that it is remote controlled. So a remote control battery bank gives you a lot of possibilities if you are camping or if you're in your garage or something like this and you wanna use this for lighting or something like that and you're, let's say you're in bed and camping, you don't wanna get up. You can use this remote to turn it on and off. Yep, so you can kind of keep that on your keychain if you want, but standard remote on and off. I don't know if there's any battery in this already. Yep, there is. So if I use the remote, and it's off, use the remote again, and she's on. This is gonna be a really awesome utility battery. If you're interested in any of the products that I have here, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below. Some of them might be affiliate links, some might just link right to their page, but definitely go over there and, and check it out and support their page. And what's this one here, okay. Ah, yes, Magtame. So Magtame sent this over for me to check out this is the C to C, so USB-C to USB-C magnetic three-in-one cable. It's 240 watts, so I can pair it with this battery bank, but it is a full-featured USB-C cable. Now, full-featured, I've mentioned this in the past in my previous review for the triple monitors. Uh, full-featured allows for the higher gigabit per second transfer rates, and allows for video. So if I wanna use this on a laptop going to an external monitor, I can do that. The interesting thing, and the reason that I was so curious about this cable, is that they have their magnetic technology, okay? Now we've all had cables that we have to wrap up like this, and no one wants to use these ties, any other sort of ties, but it just becomes a mess. So if you check this out, this is already set up, right? So, so it has a magnet all the way through the cable. So as I pull it out, I get a little bit of resistance, but not a lot. But what it does is allows me just to basically roll it back up and it's all nice, uniform and organized. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and try that again. Unwrap it, wrap it back down. And we're good to go. This is awesome, I like that a lot. And then one of the other cool things that they had mentioned is if you want to, you can make it a little bit of a smaller diameter. And look how neat that is. Look how neat and nice and tidy that is for your cables. So if you need to hold it or have additional hands, you can do that. You can put it around your wrist. And what would you rather have sitting around in your bag? A bunch of these cables that are just wrapped up like this or just something that's nice, easy and, easy and tidy like that? It's got 20 gigabit per second output resolution of 8K at 60 Hertz or 4K at 144 Hertz. So uh, I'm looking to get like a portable monitor soon uh, that has a higher refresh rate and is 4K. So I should be able to use this cable just fine. But yeah, look at that. Whoop, whoop, right back to go. Love it. 
That's awesome. I love this cable. Alrighty. What is in this one? This is, ah, okay. Mayono sent me over their wireless microphone. Oh, I'm going to have so many boxes to clean up. So Mayono sent me over their wireless microphone. So this is basically a lapel mic or a, or a lavier mic that uh, hooks to your shirt and also has a base that connects either to your phone or to your computer and then just be, and allows you to have a mic that you can move around the room. So I will do a dedicated review video on this one, but let's just take a look at how nice this looks and see what's in the actual thing itself. So pop this open and you see you have two different microphones. So if you're having an interview situation where you're interviewing someone or walking around or vlogging with someone, you can both have high quality microphone and then you also have a receiver here. This one's a USB-C receiver, which works perfectly with my iPhone 15, but I don't have to use that with my iPhone. I can actually use it or plug it into my computer here. So in the in-depth review, we'll go ahead and take a look at this, get a mic test, see how it, how it sounds and how it works and see if that's gonna be my go-to microphone from now on. All righty, what do we got here? Make a little room on the desk. Oh, yes, 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 very nice. So this, is the PlimPad P8 Pro. This is a budget Android tablet that the folks at Plimpton sent over. I am gonna do a full in-depth review on this one, but let's just take a quick look. So it's a 10.1 Android tablet that is under $100. And the thing that I liked about this, and I'll explain more in the more expensive review, is that it is a full Android 13 tablet. Now I've had tablets in the past that come with Android 13, but it was Android 13 Go. It was the Timu one that I had opened. And while that works good on a general daily basis for YouTube, Chrome, stuff like that, I couldn't run my Canon Connect software. So that's why I picked this up. So looking pretty nice here. So what I said is it's, it's just like a nice little Android tablet. And I think this will be something that'll be cool for, for kids and adults alike. Um, it does have kind of like a good, uh, outer shell feels really good. Um, it does have USB-C charging and an external expansion port for storage, which is which is awesome. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out and putting it through its paces. And I might seem like I'm going a little quick here, but it's because I have a lot of things to open and I just don't want this to become like an hour long video. This big boy right here. All right, well, I have an idea of what this is because it's so dang heavy, it's got to be the one thing that I'm thinking of. And yep, it is a Levo power station, okay? So this thing is a beast. Oh, all right, so this is the Levo power station. And this is basically not your everyday carry around in your backpack power station. I'm looking forward to trying this out, like I said. I love this small form factor a lot. Um, actually, this is more of a medium form factor for, for carrying around. Um, but this is going to be in a situation where I'm like in a garage and I need to use some tools or out near a car doing some work. And I want just a little bit extra power. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you look on the side here, it does have a full standard plug. I think you can get it in sort of the European plug style. Also, it has DC input. Also, it has a... What I think is, let's see that, yep. It has a visual screen that shows you the out input and the output, so you know what you're charging, uh, how much is coming in, how much is going out. It has a cigarette adapter here, uh, car power adapter, I guess, if you wanna call it. Has DC, a couple more DC outs, it has USB-C out, USB-A out. And the interesting thing, I believe, is that each one of these things, if you hit this button and hold it in, Yep, you can turn on the individual sections by themselves. So if you wanna turn them on, turn them off. But yeah, this is a monster. It's about 10 pounds, um, but it's more of, of that, like the heavy duty type of thing. I'd also like to get some solar panels, uh, see if I can start to use that with charging these. So again, uh, I'll leave the link down below. Looks like it's got a little carrying strap. It's got the cables you need to be able to plug it in as well as the DC power adapter here that goes with that cable. All right, next up is, ah, I'm excited about this one. Okay, so this is gonna come in handy. I'm working on a 10,000 subscriber special that is basically a 
filming slash studio uh, desk makeover. I mean, um, you guys have seen this stupid little stand I have behind me for so long, and it's it's about time that I upgrade to an actual desk because I want more filming space than just this, okay? So this is the Ampla Game SC3 Gaming Mixer, okay? So this is a sort of audio interface that you can use to plug in multiple inputs from sound like an XLR microphone, USB microphone, uh, external sound coming in from like an Xbox. So if you do streaming or if you do any sort of multimedia type of sound input, you can use this and it mixes it all together. Now I'm gonna do a full review and unboxing of this one. It has the XLR plug on the back, plus headset line in, headphones line out, um, and then all the mixing buttons here for each one of those individual things. It has standard 48 volt phantom power, um, and it has custom buttons. I guess you will be able to potentially uh, customize what the different buttons do, which I like because I have uh, another one of these that the buttons are used for like voice effects and I'd love to use them for something else, but this is great. Again, I'll do a full unboxing and review on that. Uh, so you'll get the full details on how that works. And uh, on top of that, I'll use it in my desk overhaul 10K video. So look forward to that. And if you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more of these reviews on some of these things, make sure you subscribe so you get notified when I put out those videos. Okay, so next I have something that's not so secretive here. Uh, this I already know is a portable monitor. Now it's not the one I talked about earlier, um, but it is a portable monitor I'll be able to use in my setup. This is by WeMaxit. And what I really like about this is that it has basically all the things that I wanted in a portable monitor. It has, it's a 15.6 inch monitor, an IPS panel, which I think is great because you have a lot of good, better sort of viewing angle. It runs on USB-C and it has power delivery. Now it's a 1080p monitor, which is fine because um, I'm gonna be hooking it up to my setup back here as an extra monitor. This thing is, you know, some of these external monitors, you know, their quality isn't that good, but this one is, is from the reviews I've seen, is really nice and look how big it is. Let me go ahead and pull it out of the plastic here for you to see. So it comes with this external case, which is really nice. A lot of times the monitors might just come with like a little kickstand that pops out of the back, but it doesn't provide that protection if you wanna put this in your backpack or bring it with you. So pop it open like this and you can use the back uh, for like a kickstand if you want to. It does come with a standard power brick. It comes with all the standard cables. It looks like it comes with a nice USB-C video cable and an HDMI cable. So again, I've discussed this a thousand, thousand times on my channel, is that when you get a portable monitor and you have an HDMI signal, the HDMI signal doesn't have enough power to be able to power the device itself. So if you're planning to use HDMI, you have to use an external power cable. That can go right into your laptop. Your laptop can provide enough power, um, but you use these two cables here in conjunction. And in fact, let me go ahead and just Plug this in to my laptop so you can see how it looks. All right, so I plugged it into my laptop here just for a quick test. All right, and now you can see what my laptop sees, which is the audio recording that I'm doing right now. And touch screen works right away. So if I wanted to control my laptop from sort of a distance, I get a longer cable or whatever, I should be able to control this from the touch screen here. So that's pretty nice. This is really nice. I'll actually link a review to this down below from Cozy Christopher, who I actually watched that review and thought to myself, I need to pick up one of these because it's a nice device. Uh, I'll go ahead and link that down below if you want to get more information about this. But yeah, again, thanks to Wemax for sending this over. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to using this in my new setup on my potential desk back here. Alrighty, what do we have in this bad boy right here? So let's check it out. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the Sodi magnetic charger for your car. So this one actually plugs into your vent. I'm sure you've seen those before. So it basically plugs into your vent, allows you to magnetically hook your phone to it and charge at the same time. They were also kind enough to send over their invisible case for my iPhone 15 Pro. So we will open both of these up and give this a try. And in the box, you have the device itself. 
you have the vent hook and you have the cable. We have the case. Now I've been wanting to sort of switch over to a clear case. Uh, so this works out just perfectly for me. And you don't have to specifically have this case in order to be compatible with this charger. And one of the cool things first about this case, let me go ahead and toss it on my phone. All right, fits nicely. One of the cool things about this case is that this ring or protective ring around the camera is actually a kickstand. So if you're using your phone to watch videos, now you have a little kickstand. So that's good if you're like on travel or in a plane or something like that, uh, you have that kickstand there. I think you can change kind of the angle. It's strong enough for that. So that's nice. So that just sort of clips back down onto the case and it's connected at all times. You got yourself a kickstand. Now, when it comes to the charger, looks like in the box, they give you a USB-A to USB-C cable. Uh, so you go ahead and hook this up to the bottom of the device here. And the way this works is you are able to loosen this up a little bit and put the ball joint into the socket, screw it down. That gives you some range of motion, which is nice. So if you're in the car, you're able to sort of angle this towards yourself if you'd like. And then this back part back here, telescopes out hooks onto your car vent and you're good to go. So let me go ahead and plug it in. I think there's some RGB we could take a look at. So pretty standard. Uh, you're gonna have this sort of in your car, hooked to your car vent, take your, your device obviously and hook it on there. And the thing that I'm interested in is how strong the magnet is. So if I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, yeah, that's pretty strong. Can do it both landscape and portrait mode. So yeah, so that's great. I, I really like how this looks. It's actually, the magnet is really strong. It's easy to clip on, it stays on. You got a little bit of underglow here with the light below. Um, I think this is an awesome choice. Again, if you look here, you'll see that there's 15 watt max output. So that still is fast charging. And the case itself feels really nice with the titanium color of the iPhone 15 that shows it off pretty nicely. Across the board, this is a great combo. I would most definitely check it out. All right, I think we've got about two things left here. Let's check out this little package here. I'm not 100% sure what's, ah, I do know what's in here. I am an ex console gamer who have now upgraded to, upgraded to PC play, but I love, love, love to use controllers on my PC. I don't totally like to use keyboard and mouse. So the folks at, GameSir sent over two of their controllers. Looks like they sent over the Nova and the Nova Lite. Let's go ahead and pull one of these out and just take a look. So GameSir is known for a lot of their game controllers. I had a, uh, a Switch I was using and I wanted a different controller because I can't, the, the Switch controllers are too small for my hands and I had one and it didn't work for it. And so this one here specifically works with the Switch. So, oh, it comes in a case. Oh, look at that. All right, so you have the GameSir controllers, the Nova and the Nova Lite. Um, they actually also provided some thumb grip packs. So if you have a situation where your thumbs, you like a different type of grip or the way these work, you start to wear them down after a while. Um, the buttons feel good. I'm really excited to use this. It looks like a USB-C. I can use it through Bluetooth and I can also use it corded, um, hooked directly to whatever device I wanna use it for. I actually really like this little carrying case here, but I'm going to do a full review on these because there's so, you know, there's a lot of controllers out there that are kind of just bogus. And I know that the GameSir stuff is really nice. So I'm looking forward to reviewing these, going through, trying them out, hooking them up. So thanks to them for sending this over. Watch for that review. One last thing, which isn't so last. This is actually really nice. I already know what it is because look, it's open. But this is a Rubens Tab T11 Pro. I'm going to do a full review on this. This is not just a tablet, it's an artist tablet. So my kids uh, like to draw. My young son Colton really likes to draw. And I got him, I got him like a Wacom thing that hooks to his computer and that's fun and all, but I think that he'll love to be able to use something like this, okay? So I will just quickly pop this open so we can take a look at it. But like I said, I'll do a full review here coming up. And like I said, this is not your average uh, 
tablet. This is an artist tablet for be able to draw. So they give you a little thing here that you can wear on your hand. They give you, looks to be like a carrying case with a little kickstand on the back. And the tablet itself. Looks like it's about a 10 inch tablet. It does come with a pressure sensitive pen here. So when you're drawing, you have that pressure sensitivity. So the difference between things I've tried in the past is that I've bought like a generic Apple pencil for my iPad and that doesn't have the pressure sensitivity. So if you're trying to draw fine lines or brush strokes or anything like that, but this whole device here is specifically designed for making sure that an artist can draw digitally and then put everything from here onto your computer. It's powered by Android. And like I said, I'll do a full review of this. I think that people will be interested in it because it's fairly unique. Again, keep an eye out for the full review on this tablet. If you want to see any of these products I opened today, specifically reviewed, please make a note down below in the comments. I may not get to all of them, but if you put an actual comment down below, um, I want to make sure I'm doing what you all want to see. So I'll make sure to do a review, a full review of it. So you can kind of see the product and see if it's something you want to use. That's my first official tech haul. Had a bunch of things here, about 10 products. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.